Starting this fall, teachers will be more protected when it comes to harassment. Students who harass teachers will be taken out of their regular classes and referred to disciplinary alternative education programs. Sarah Acosta spoke with local teachers and parents about how they feel about this law, and she explains how it will work. I've had kids throw things at me, spit at me, cuss at me. Sonia Timmerman is finishing up her student teacher training at the middle school level. She says harassment from students is something that teachers deal with daily. It's why a new law that was passed this legislative session protects teachers against student harassment. Starting this fall, the law requires students who harass teachers or any school district employee to be placed in a disciplinary alternative education program. It does put that control on the teacher's hand. Shelly Potter is the president of the San Antonio Alliance of Teachers. Previously, if a teacher was harassed, it was up to the discretion of the district on how to proceed with discipline of the student. She says teachers should feel safe in the classroom, but how they discipline a student is a delicate balance. We want to make sure that that is balanced with not becoming a school to prison pipeline. I believe that's wrong. Johnny Osborne has three children. He disagrees with the new law, saying alternative school for a one time offense is too harsh, especially for students who might just be having a bad day or a hard time at home. I believe that the alternative school is not another option on my end unless the child continues to keep doing it. Even as a teacher who has been harassed and believes teachers should feel safe, Timmerman says there are other solutions that can better protect not just teachers, but also students. Try putting cameras in the classrooms. It'll protect the teachers. It'll show parents exactly what's going on and it'll protect the students as well. Timmerman says it's crucial for teachers not to abuse this. She says she can understand both sides. She is a special needs child and says it would upset her if a teacher wrote off her son. I would be devastated because I would feel like my son's not getting the knowledge and the help or concern or even compassion that he deserves. Potter with the San Antonio Alliance of Teachers says they'll be encouraging teachers to educate students and teachers about this new law. Myra. Okay, Sarah, so what is this process going to look like? It's going to be a combination of the Texas Education Agency regulations and also the district disciplinary process. Now, Potter says most districts also have hearing officers that will continue to determine actions on students. Myra.